So when there's famine, there are more, there's more theft, more burglary, more armed robbery, more banditry, more kidnapping. When there's famine, people are trying to solve their famine problem by taking the loan to their own hands and see how they can bless themselves. Because they are not under the blessing of God. So they try to bless themselves. Some of them try to bless themselves by stealing money from government. Some of them, some of them try to bless themselves by, by lying to get money. Some of them try to bless themselves by prostitution. Some of them try to bless themselves by all kinds of crooked forward fraud stars. They adopt different methods to steal money for do the online online theft. There are all kinds of things taking place because when well, as long as you're not walking by by faith, as you are not, as long as you're walking by sight, you're not walking by faith, then you are going to look for how to bless yourself. People are looking for any how to get money. They are taking decisions, lifetime decisions based on financial gratification. And the reason is because they don't walk by faith. You don't relocate because of the needs you are hearing about a better life somewhere else. If you stay with God, seek God, let God show you what He wants to do to your life. There is, there is even though there is scarcity, there is scarcity is everywhere all over the world. But in the, when, where, where you stay where God has placed you, then you are sure to prosper. Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this uh, interesting edition of Eagle Christian Voice of Victory. Praise God. The nuggets you will learn today will turn your life around for good. Amen. You will learn how to flourish Amen. in the midst of famine. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. That is very unusual to hear that. <clears throat> My only wife, mm. when there is famine in the land, when there are challenges going on in the land, when there is violence in the land, mm. we know that as born-again believers, we are never in a dilemma. Mm. We are never in a fix. Mm. Born again believers, we are equipped. We are equipped for storm. We are built for storm. Mm. Let's go to Genesis 26, where we said about Isaac. Isaac was facing famine, and we shared during the last episode that famine, famine is not a new thing. It has always been. It has always been. In different generations. Yes, right. mm. Violence is not a new thing. Mm. It has always been. Mm. In fact, there was... Uh, raiders. Uh, yeah, raiders. And even kidnappers. kidnappers. This morning, they right. came and kidnapped uh, 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 David's uh, wives and, and uh, uh, other uh, people. Among others. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that, 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 remember that one. Sir. Mm. That's remember, they remember that one. It's good to remember that one. Yes. That they kidnapped David, David's, David's wives, two wives, his children, and all the children, is Ziegler, and born Ziegler with fire. Mm. But they covered the... He didn't pay ransom for them. Amen. No ransom was paid. He, he, he sought God. He, he sought prayed. God, yeah. hmm. God delivered every one of them into the hands of David and hmm. everyone spoils. Hmm. He became hmm. rich because of the kidnappers. The hmm. kidnappers came kidnap him so that they can be rich. <laughs> then he, then he, he rescued his family and became richer than the kidnappers. Hmm. So it's very important. Now, today we read today we Timothy and it was so, so interesting. He said the law is made for kidnappers. And I saw kidnappers here. Yeah. They are kidnappers in the Bible. <laughs> Is it, is it, chapter, is it, chapter, chapter one? Chapter one. <laughs> first, first, chapter one, verse nine. Say, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person, mm. but the lawless, the insubordinate, and insubordinate for the ungodly and for sinners, for mm. the unholy and profane, mm. for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for fornicators, or so, for sodomites, for kidnappers, mm. and for liars. Mm. So kidnapping is not a new thing, <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care what you are facing right now. Maybe you are feeling you only say financial problem. Hmm. Sharon is kidnapping you with financial problem. <laughs> no, <don't laughs> <know. laughs> financial downturn. <laughs> they are not really some people. They are not really afraid of kidnappers. It is it is food. <laughs> it is lack of scarcity of food that they are afraid hmm. of. Just like some ladies were telling me last weekend. Yes, yes. You know that feeding is yes. actually a problem it's now. A, that's it. So. So they are not afraid of the, they, they don't have any kidnapper and diarrhea, but the children is kidnapping them with financial problems. <laughs> <laughs> with lack of food. Starvation. So people are, people are dying, and you know, when you're kidnapped, when you're not kidnapped with a lack of food, what, what are you going to use to pay ransom? <laughs> There's nothing. So let's look at uh, Genesis, you know, you know, chapter 1, chapter 26. We are looking at the challenging times, storms of life, difficulties, time very hard to bear. Mm. We are looking at we are looking at challenges and difficulties at times that are very hard to bear, hmm. and we see the response, God's response, God's solution to problems, to financial problem, hmm. violence, and all that is taking place that represents famine. You know, when you say famine, usually famine is lack of food, but there could be different area of famine in life hmm. that people can face. 
And uh, for every, any, whatever you are, whatever your face as you watch your telecast today, we, believe, we trust God that you are going to experience victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the Lord will meet you <coughs> at Amen. the very point of your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to read verse 26, I mean, chapter 1, verse, uh, chapter 26, verse 1, and then 2, 3, where we, the way we stop the other time. We are seeing examples in the Bible where uh, Abraham went through his own farming time. Hmm. God provided for him. Hmm. It's time for his son to go through his own farming. And it's amazing how <clears throat> people go through farming. That doesn't mean that children will not go through farming. Hmm. But we are going to depend on deep blessing. Hmm. That means you need to, you, everyone needs to have a vibrant relationship with, with the Lord. That, that's the summary. You have, you have summarized the whole thing for me. Hmm. That's all. Hmm. It's your vital union with God that guarantees future for you. Mm. You have heard me with the message. It's mm. the only thing you know. Mm. Ready? That's it. That's it. So that no matter what, what comes facing, up. That's it. Mm. That's, you are sure to win. Mm. You win. So let's look at us one, two, three. There was a famine in the land. Mm. Beside the first famine. Yes. That was in the days of Abraham. Mm. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, in mm. Gera. Mm. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, Do not go down to Egypt. Mm. Live in the land of which I shall tell you. Mm. Dwell in this land. Mm. And I will be with you and bless you. Mm. For to you and your descendants mm. I, I give all these lands. Mm. And I will perform the oath which I swore to Abraham your father. Mm. Mm. And I will make your descendants multiply. Mm. As the stars of heaven. I will give to your descendants all these lands. And your seed, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Mm. Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, mm. my commandments, my status, <clears throat> and my laws. Mm. So Isaac dwelt in Gera. Oh, like, like, like that. He didn't relocate. He didn't relocate. Either. Now, the, 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 the thing is this. this Isaac's story is a very interesting story. Because you see as you move further that Isaac actually sold. He was mm. sowing in the midst of famine. Mm. And as he was sowing, God, God was giving him multi, 40 people 40 tons. Mm. <clears throat> But the first lesson you can learn, number one, in this, this, this place you are in now, is that farming is not new. Hmm. He said there was a second farming after the Abraham's own, there was a second farming. Hmm. And, and I, I shared, I said, the fact that you are rich, that does not mean your children will become rich. By, just because of the physical wealth you have. Hmm. I don't know why, in the Old Testament, hmm. yes, people transfer wealth to their children, hmm. farmland, house, things and that. But it, it, it was not, it's not sustainable. Hmm. If they don't have a relationship with Christ. Outside of God. God eh? hmm. And so in the Old Testament, what was released, much more than the physical wealth, hmm. is the spiritual blessing. Hmm. The blessing. You got it. So what Abraham did... The blessing. For, or, or the anointing. The anointing, yes. The blessing of the anointing. Yes, you are right. So what Abraham did was to transfer the blessing to, to Isaac. Hmm. He pronounced Isaac blessed. Mm. And where you are right now, Isaac, God said he will bless Isaac and bless his descendant, descendant, descendant. Mm. So the blessing runs in the family. Mm. So when the blessing runs in the family, right away, mm. and there's famine in the land, mm. what you put you over the family is not how, much, how many houses your father left for you. Mm. It's not how many farmlands your father left for you. Mm. It's not how many cows your father left for you. Mm. It's how much of the blessing can you factor in your life. Mm. Here he said, God spoke to Abraham and to Isaac here, don't relocate. Mm. Dwell in the land. Dwell in the land. Where I've placed you. That's it. Mm. I know when I made you a Nigerian, I knew what I was doing. Don't relocate. It, is, it, it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. Mm. You know, say, uh, God just, there's a family that's family from Nigeria now. Then go call in your Gabriel, call Jesus, say, ah, Jesus, we made a mistake. We put this boy in a, in a year mistakenly. He's supposed to have been born in New York. <laughs> wow, what can we do now? So let's find a guy who could get visa for him so he can look it there. No, 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 no. God placed you in a particular place. And you see, and God can move you to different countries to mm. make an impact that cannot be raised there. Mm. And when it's God, if it is God that relocates you, mm. you know that you are relocated by God and you prosper you. Mm. God relocated Abraham. From where he was before, he took him from the, the, land, the land of the Chaldeans and took him to Canaan. Mm. He, he located him, he said, I've got a place I'm going to show you. Mm. And when Abraham was facing problems, he landed to Egypt. Mm. And, then, and it was in the rule of God. And then, but God still helped him anyway. And then returning him back to Canaan, it wasn't meant to be in Egypt, it was Canaan. Mm. 
He go to he he and I'm coming back. Now the same uh, son Isaac, they still in the same family, and he was on his way to Egypt. Hmm. God said, eh, 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 eh. "Don't go. Don't do it. Stay here, and I will bless you, hmm. and I will bless your descendant, descendant, descendant." And the Bible says, Abraham, Isaac obeyed the Lord hmm. by dwelling in Gerar. Hmm. The key word there, I why after the, after the blessing is the, another key word is obedience. Yes. But we say, if you are willing and, and obedient, obedient, you will eat the good of the land. That's it. That's that mm. one nineteen. Mm. So they, your, it is up to you now to be willing. Number one, number two, to be obedient. Mm. And if you do that, you will eat the fat of the land. I want us to look at. <clears throat> we're going to look at Psalm ninety two. Psalm ninety two. Yes. What happens when there's famine? What I wanted to say, I mean, number one, there is scarcity, serious and absolute scarcity. There is poverty, mm. and because of poverty, there is also sickness, mm. there is fear, mm. there is dread, there is anxiety, mm. and then there is we have several premature deaths. So when there is famine, there, are more, there is more theft, more burglary. Hmm. More armed robbery, more banditry, hmm. more kidnapping. When there is famine, people are trying to solve their famine problem by taking the land to their own hands and see how they can bless themselves. Hmm. Because they are not under the blessing of God. So they try to bless themselves. Some of them try to bless themselves by stealing money from government. Some of them, by, some of them try to bless themselves by, by lying to get money. Some of them try to bless themselves by prostitution. Some of them, some of them try to bless themselves by all kinds of crooked forwarding hmm. frosters. Hmm. They adopt different methods to steal money for, do the online, online theft. Hmm. There are all kinds of things taking place because where, as long as you're not walking by, by faith, as, you are, as long as you're walking by sight, you're not walking by faith, then you're going to look for how to bless yourself. People are looking for any Anyhow, to get money, they are taking decisions, lifetime decisions based on financial gratification, mm. and the reason is because they don't walk by faith. Mm. And so God wanna want Isaac here. Don't do it. Mm. Don't relocate to that place because you, you think that the Egypt is better than where you are right now, or because you think America is better than where you are now, or because Europe is better than where you are now. You don't relocate because of the news you are hearing about a better life somewhere else. Mm. If you stay with God, seek God, mm. let God show you what He wants to do with your life. Mm. There is, there is, even though there's scarcity, scarcity is everywhere all over the world. But in the, when, where, where you stay where God has placed you, then you are sure to prosper. Mm. Psalm ninety-two. So it's important. Yes. For one to listen to God. Number one, in the that's first place. That's right, that's right. No, no. When you listen, yes. then you obey. Very good. You have mm. summarized the only for me. Mm. You have made this, 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 uh, this teaching very, 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 very sweet for me, very fast. <laughs> when, you summa, when, you, when you listen, mm. when you seek God, mm. whatever you are facing right now, mm. solution to all your problem is to be led by the Spirit of God. Mm. Just like the Holy Shabbat say, you have no problem. All oh, you need yeah. is faith, faith in God. That's it. So that's it. That's it. Mm. God will answer for you when no man can answer for you. Mm. But let's hear what is your part in this thing. You see, we are now looking at we are looking at God's provision. But what is your part? Mm. What part do you have to play? Can you just sit down and sit down and say, "Well, let, well I open my mouth, let, come, let God come and feel it"? No, 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 no. Mm. Look at Psalm ninety-two. Look at verse, verse twelve to fifteen, and you see here your part. When you do your part of obedience, mm. you see God and you obey Him. Obey him by getting the right, the first obedience to get the right pastor, the right church, the right pastor. Mm. Not the right job, no, 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 not, the right, not even the right business yet. But first and foremost, you get the right church, the right pastor, and then from there, other things, wisdom for business, wisdom for financial prosperity begin to come as an offshoot. Well, look, look at this family. It's going to be an offshoot of you knowing God and establishing a relationship with your heavenly father in a dynamic ministry. Mm. Because your prosperity, your, your, your flourishing, mm. you're not going to survive, you're going to thrive. Amen. Your flourishing and thriving is going to be based on the anointed, anointed of the Holy Spirit upon your life. So if you need to be able to find the man of God and the right ministry where you are linked or yoked to it, and you plant yourself there and then you grow. Where you'll be taught the word of God. That's it, anyway. And the word of faith. The word of faith. Mm. You hear the word of faith, you come by hearing it, mm. and then you, 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 got, you made it easier for me. Amen. Look at Psalm 92. 
Past 12 to 15. 12 to 15. Yeah, we could look at it and then we generate 23 past 4. Mm. You see it here, the significance of being planted in a dynamic ministry. Mm. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Yes, sir. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Mm. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord mm. shall flourish in the courts of our God. Wow. They shall still bear fruit in old age. Mm. They shall be fresh and flourishing. flourishing. To declare that the Lord is upright. Ooh. He's my rock. Masakara and there's no righteousness Masakara in him. Did you just hear that? Mm. It is those who are planted mm. that can enjoy all these things. Mm. The, is that mean, is in the midst of famine, in dryness, they will still be bearing fruits. Mm, mm. No matter how old you are, you are still going to be green. Mm. See the word green there, mm. that means you are, you see when sun is green, that means fresh. Mm. It's green. There's still vitality. It's the vitality is there. Mm. That means in the midst of famine, you are still green. Amen. You are, you are, you are heavily provided for. Amen. You, are, you have sufficiency. Amen. Because you are here now, you are planted mm. in the house of God. Mm. So your job is to do the planting. Mm. Be, obey God by asking him to show you the right church. And when you get the right church, where the man is anointed, in fact, Jeremiah 23 verse 4 says, I'm going to give you a shepherd or under shepherd mm. who will teach you the word of God. And you see here, uh, my wife, my wife, she will you God, then you no longer be afraid, you no longer be, be dismayed, and mm. you no longer lack. But you are going to have to stay under that man, that she under shepherd. He didn't say I'm going to give you the right job. No, he said I'm going to give you the right shepherd. Listen, this, okay. yes, yes. Whatever. I will set up shepherds over them. Yes, sir. Who will feed them? Yes, sir. And they shall fear no more. Wow. Not be dismayed. Wow. Nor shall they be lacking, mm. says the Lord. Do you, do you see, do you see mm. that? Do you see that? He said, I'm going to give you a pastor. I'm going to give you a pastor over you. Then that pastor will ensure that he teaches you because in me now, the reason why you are free is because you have no faith. Mm. Fear comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the devil. Mm. Faith comes by hearing by any word of God. So both come by words. Fear comes through words. Mm. Faith comes through words. Mm. Words of the devil and words of God. So when you hear the word of God, you are in a dynamic ministry and you are hearing the word of God, then you will develop faith for the, the prosperity. Mm. Faith for healing. Faith for protection. Protection, anyway. Deliverance. Deliverance. Hmm. Now you can, instead of, instead of being afraid that to go to bed, you can go to bed and, and <laughs> like, like one of our daughters was sharing with us, before she came to the, into our church, she was always afraid of her. She see any cat or lizard by the window making noise. She would stay all night binding and losing them, <laughs> you know. But this time around, yeah, there was a crazy cat by the window making all kinds of noise. You just look at it and didn't even bother to even pray, pray, but he just went and slept and slept over. Went, went, went back, went to, back, to, back bed. to bed and forgot it. And slept and slept soundly. soundly. Because see that and that what that is the result of being taught. Mm. God giving you a pastor, mm. a minister of the gospel mm. that can teach you so you no longer you no longer be afraid, mm. nor be dismayed, neither will you ever lack again. Mm. So that is the purpose of the ministry. That what you're right now is it just, just tied to it. That's mm. an entity too. Mm. It's those, those who are planted mm. in the house of worship are flourish. Mm. Where they are flourishing because they are being fed by the under shepherd. They will mm. be using the under shepherd to feed them. Mm. And as they grow, they become strong. Mm. And they are, able, they, are, they, are, they are now able to overcome sickness and disease, mm. famine, violence, and mm. fear and all that. So God, God has not given us a spirit of fear, Amen. but of power. Amen. Of love and of a sound mind. mind. So when you begin to operate as a child of God, and you're, 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 you're functioning, you're functioning in your, 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 your highest capacity in your life, mm. you now begin to overcome fear, mm. and then you overcome sickness and disease, mm. overcome lack, mm. and then overcome anxiety and, 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 and despondency. Mm. So, but, so the solution is for you how to do the planting. Mm. And then when you are planting the right choice, number one, number, number two, when you don't allow offense to uproot you, mm. But anyway, mm. there are people who are, who are sovereign and doing this, doing this farming in the land because of offense. Because they allow themselves yes. to be uprooted. That's it. You got it. Mm. They allow themselves. Sometimes over flimsy reasons. Over crazy reasons. Mm. They, don't, they, don't, they don't strip them. Mm. They got offended. Mm. I, I, I was, when we were just talking just now, I, I, I look at this, I remember 20, 28, 29, verse 5. See what God did for them here. Now, your God is powerful. They don't get 29, verse 5. Okay. Twenty-five. You see, how you are you are empowered to prosper. Hmm. You have been empowered to prosper. That's your, that is your, that is that is the dictate. You are you are supposed to flourish, thrive, <coughs> and be successful. Hmm. That's God's will for you. Yes, please. And I've led you forty years in the wilderness. Yes, sir. 
your clothes have not worn out on you, mm. and your sandals have not worn out on your feet. Wow. Mm. Did you see that? Mm. Did you see that? Should I continue? No, yeah, 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 yes. Okay. You have not eaten bread. You have not eaten bread, nor have you drunk wine or similar thing that you may know that I'm the Lord your God. This is a clear example. You can the first part anyway. See, mm. you I led you for 40 years. Mm. Your shoe didn't grow old. Your clothes didn't grow old. Mm. I provided for you. You mm. didn't like anything. Mm. Then when Satan came to attack you with violence, mm. I came on your behalf. Amen. I said, touch not my anointed. And do and my prophets, prophet. no harm. So the Bible says say, say, there was none feeble among their tribe. Amen. None was feeble among their tribe. The Bible says he rebuilt kings for their sake. Hallelujah. In other words, there's no... You see, as born-again believers, you are utterly fearless. Mm. You are utterly fearless in life. Mm. Mm. Because, hear me, hear, me, hear, me, hear me, church, if you, are, if you are born again, you're walking around, if you are not born again, you can get born again today. Hear me now, you are not ordinary. Mm. You are under a higher covenant than this people in the Old Testament. Amen. Where our covenant is a, is a higher covenant established on better promises. Mm. Bible says, even though Jesus Christ was, was rich, for our sakes, it he became, became poor. Yes. That we, through his poverty, might be made rich. You do hear that? Mm. That's why he became poor. So mm -hmm. you need to renew your mind with this truth of the word of God. Mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of all you are doing is a, is a, is canal, canal messages or what is happening, how many people are kidnapping uh, in the uh, Oroshoke Express Road, how many people are kidnapping uh, Ariel Ria Market. If you, instead of you to, to feed on this one, why don't, you, why don't you feed on the faithfulness of God? Mm -hmm. Feed on the faithfulness of God. Mm -hmm. Feed on the love of God. Mm -hmm. There's one scripture that we call in the book of 1 John chapter 4, my daddy. We say, we say, we say, we say, sometimes we say, we say, we say, we believe and trust the love that God has for us. Mm. We put our trust in His love. Mm. So we say, hear me now, and if you are hearing us now, and if you are not yet born again, you need to put your trust in His love. Mm. And if you are already born again, and you have crossed the dead of life, praise God for that one. We know how much God loves us. Yes, sir. And we have put our trust in His love. That's it, that's it, that's mm. it. So when you put your trust in love, perfect love casts out fear anyway. Amen. Because fear has to mean. Hmm. Perfect love casts out fear. Hmm. When you are not afraid of can you imagine 40 years no the, the, no, the shoe didn't grow old? Hmm. 40 and, years. And the clothes. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't fade. Hmm. Inside desert. Hmm. For 40 years. Hmm. There was full provided. Hmm. In the longest miracle in the Bible. As their legs were growing, the shoes the shoe were was, growing. was growing with it. And that's why. Wow. That's the kind of God you serve. That's your father. That's my father. Mm. If you are believe that, and you are not just a, you're just telling now, you believe and trust the Lord for you. Mm. Then myself and you can start can factor in the truth about the word of God and know that no matter what is happening in the Nigerian economy or American economy or the Canadian economy, no matter which economy, no matter what is happening right now, we believe and trust the Lord for us. Mm. In other words, we can't go down. Amen. We cannot sing Amen. because we are planted in the house of God. So we are flourishing. Amen. Praise God. We are thriving. Amen. We are succeeding. Amen. We are expanding. Amen. Why? Because we are planted in the house of God. We mm. are put our trust in love in love of God. Mm. And we've got faith in his faithfulness. Amen. We know that God can never fail. Mm. You might make and fail you and promise and fail you. Mm. But one person that can never fail you is God. Mm. And, is, and we have him as our father. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. And so Bible says, if you are willing and obedient. obedient. Really good land. Amen. So it is up to you now to be willing mm. and to be obedient. Mm. You can be obedient and not be willing. Mm. Some people are, they, they obey, but they are grumbling. Wow. If you obey and you are grumbling, you are not willing. Complaining. Complaining, but you are obeying. Mm. Mm. You are obeying, but you are, you are not willing. So, but when you combine the two, Willing and obedience, you will now begin to feed further the land. Mm. It does not matter what's happening in Nigeria economy. Mm. Nigeria economy is not your economy. Mm. We are operating under a heavenly economy. Mm. My God's a supply. So it's an heavenly economy. Mm. Okay? It's, it, it downloads it from heaven to mm. us. It is the blessing mm. that make it rich and doesn't ask for The blessing of the Lord, it make it rich and there's no sorrow with it. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're not born again, it's time to get saved. Amen. It's time to get saved. And how do I get born again? It's simple. You don't have to do any work to get it. It's already Should done. You believe in your heart Hallelujah. that Jesus is the Son of God. That, that died for you. Yeah, that died for you. That was yeah. sent to redeem you, that's to right. save you. That's all. He did the work on your behalf. That's it. That's it. it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. If you don't believe, believe in your heart, and then you confess, confess it to your mouth. That's it. Yeah. Because if you don't do so, you are going to have to go. You have to pay for, pay for yourself, and you go to hell. Mm. You pay with your own life. Mm. So how do how do I do that? Say 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 say, say, say dear God.
Dear God, I believe in my heart. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is the Son of God. Is the Son of God. That died for my sins. That died for my sins. I believe he was raised. I believe he was raised. From the dead. From the dead. For my justification. For my justification. Jesus. Jesus. I call on you. I call on you. The Bible says if I call on you. The Bible says that if I call on you, I will be saved. I will be saved. Thank you now. Thank you now. I'm saved now. I'm saved now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, you meant it. You have yeah. crossed from death to life. Amen. Now. now you are going to be operating under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, Amen. which has put you over law, sin, and death, which represents famine, sickness, disease, poverty, mm. and premature death. Mm. Hear me now. You are operating on a higher law. Right Amen. Now. You are born again believer. Praise Amen. God. Amen. So if you are sick in your body right now, you have been battling that sickness and disease. Mm. We are authorized. Amen. We have been authorized. Here by the Holy Ghost, but Jesus has given authority, and the Holy Ghost is a, we are empowered mm. to knock out that sickness using the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, touch you are hurting your body right now in the name, in the in name, Jesus' name. Yes, yes, yes. Be yes. here. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's a command. It's done. It's a command. The command be. Amen. Amen. Let there be light. Amen. It's a command. So, take your healing right now. Amen. And then, begin, if, you are, if you are lying down, start up. If you're going to eat cold panadilla right now and begin to <laughs> devour the panadilla like crazy, Amen. you are healed. Say, I'm healed. I'm healed. Now, the next thing, look for a living church. Mm. You need a shepherd. You just, you are what you share today. Mm. If you don't have a shepherd there, you're not planting the house of God, you cannot flourish. Mm. You know, only those who have planted can flourish. Mm. So go and get to say, planting on, on the, a ministry that is dynamic because your prosperity. Your longevity, mm. your health, mm. your awareness mm. has to come to an impartial ministry. Mm. Mm. So don't don't play politics. Don't play church politics with your life. Get a good ministry mm. and get involved. God loves you and we love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.